Hi everybody, welcome to the Three Ring Circus. I'm Madhouse Jack, and today we're going to be looking at installing MB Media Server on your computer. Alright, the first thing we're going to want to do, obviously, is install MB. I'm here on Manjaro, which is an art base. Now, to get to MB, I don't know why they did this. I don't fully agree with this one. Is mb.media. That's their website. I think they would have been better off if it was mb.com. I don't want you to know my location, but let's see what mb.com actually does. If there's somebody who already has it. Okay, there is somebody who has it. I not a very good site. I'm sure they could have probably maybe purchase it from this guy I don't know or else he probably would have wanted too much maybe but here we go now obviously we're gonna want to download it they pretty much looks like they don't have everything for everything obviously we'll go to Linux and it automatically goes here in this drop down or list item box now obviously, since they don't actually have a Manjaro, which is no big deal, since it is Arch Space, we go to Arch Linux. And obviously we're going to need a uh, our trusty terminal here. I'm using Yaquake, or not really sure if that's the correct pronunciation, but for this, we don't care. All right. First thing we're going to want to do, I'll unpin that. We're going to want to either triple click here on the words and it'll highlight or just do it the old fashioned way like this. Hit copy. F12 to bring your terminal down. We'll pin it in place for the time being. And paste. Hit enter. Wants us to do the root, so sudo. Control shift V to paste there hit enter enter your password Proceed with installation. Yes and This sh Shouldn't take long if I remember correctly it doesn't take too long to install MB Once again, just follow the instructions here and boom. It's done Now to start it. We're gonna want to do this right here. I don't believe we need root We'll find out in a minute. Hit Control Shift V. System Control Start MB Server. Okay, it's asking us for our password. Alrighty, pin that in place. Sorry about that. Okay, now one thing is if you want MB to start every time you start your computer which I do we're gonna want to well, let's get on the terminal here I'm gonna hit the up arrow key just to save on a little typing here and instead of start we're gonna want to type in enable so it's all like that and may ask for the password here again but I doubt it and it is so I gotta gonna get out of everything to get to this box here. Type in my password. Boom. And as you can see, that's pr it entered that. So every time I restart my computer now, it'll start MB server. Now, all we want to do now is copy this. You don't really need to. If Hit Control V to paste it in there, and boom. Now we're there to the Quick Start Guide. Let's open up this Quick Start Guide. I don't think I've ever actually looked at this. And it's a GitHub wiki kind of one here. It's, it's all the apps on your things. I use this uh, for viewing movies and TV shows and such that I have on my TVs using Roku or 
you can use Android devices, anything connected like to your TV. Uh, after we get it set up, you can. I'll show you a couple things here and there. You can install different plugins. I used to use Plex Media Server, but I started not liking Plex for a lot of their reasons. They weren't listening to their users. MB is an open source platform, which is pretty good. You can't complain too much there. Uh, they have a lot better uh, forums, in my opinion. When you ask a question, there's a guy on there. I don't know his name right offhand, but we can fix that real quick here. Um, would you like to show notifications? Yes, I would. For this, I will allow that. Now, preferred language. One of the things I love the best here, yes, it's because of words being spelled out, but English or United Kingdom, I'm in the States, so we'll use States. I think there's, there used to be one for, I don't know if they stopped, but there was one for English Australia. Uh, your first name, we will do Madhouse. I'm going to have to actually, oh wait, I know what it, what it is. Hey, look, purple elephant over there. Oh, look at that. I'm going to type in because I, you know, I don't know if I use my Gmail or Hotmail account. I should have set up Thunderbird so I'd know this stuff. But I believe it's my Hotmail account. So I'm typing that in here. It'll tell me in a second if I'm right or not. And it was. Alright, we'll bring that back over. Now, I don't usually like I adding media from here. I'm going to finish the installation here. Enable automatic port mapping. Yes, that is a must-have. Allow remote connections to this MB server. Yes, because at the gym, before they blocked my IP, <laughs> I was able to stream stuff to uh, my uh, tablet when I'm at the gym which would have been nice of course always you have to accept the term of service or do you? Ooh, we may not have to I'm going to accept it not too worried there boom it loaded everything in now the only downside of the the VPN client is this does change so every day if I go to the gym I gotta check it uh, of course you got your standard internal one I should probably set my connection to a static IP address here no settings everything's pretty self-explanatory in here it does look more overwhelming than Plex for anybody who's used using Plex or has used Plex in the past it does kind of give you that oh my god oh my god what feeling but there really isn't much to it here like this um okay we're gonna go here I'm gonna show you quick how, okay customize home screen display enable backdrops I don't know if it saves it anymore or not. Or they do have some themes here. It looks like it, they actually have a Halloween one going on, which must have been done today because before I started installing the new Manjaro, that is. Um, let's go over here. Um, Jesus, this looks really nice. Okay, um, I want to change my profile picture here if I can. Uh, it might just be spinning here for me. Yeah, they definitely did the... Uh, it might be because I need to do a restart. We'll do a restart here quick and we'll get right back to work after the reboot. Alright, we are back after that quick little reboot here. Gonna open my favorite browser again. Which is kind of funny. Vivaldi. Tons of settings, customizable to the teeth for a KDE user. Go figure. But here we go. I do have that uh, local host 
already pre bookmarked that I have saved here. Let's see. No, that wasn't what. Here we go. We go to the user profile. Yeah, see, we needed to just reboot here. Uh, let's see. Where is my icon here? Uh, I believe it's that one. I don't know why some programs do that. It is. We will upload that. Of course, it won't take effect for, I think, another reboot or maybe even a thing. It looks like they kind of changed a few things, I don't know, overnight or something here. No, it's the same one I was using before. So, what we're going to want to do here is just start adding stuff. I'm going to open up my dolphin here to figure out what I want to install here. We just click on library here. Add media, content type. We're going to show advanced things here. Let's see movies. Technically, the movies are actually... Uh, Concerts. Let me see what I did here to, for my library. Now I'll search for the folder. I believe it's this one. Oh, I did. I named it. Um, go back here. No, I did name it movies or music before. Let's add. Click on this. Oh, wait, no, you got. And it'll have a list here for me. I don't know why this is. All my stuff is at the very bottom here. It's very frustrating. Hopefully, they'll fix that sooner or later. There's what I want. Um, can be entered manually in the event of no, no, oh, okay. Maybe that's all I have to do there. Uh, hopefully they'll fix this little snafu in this because it seems to do this. Library settings, I don't know why it just doesn't save it. It would truly help instead of having to do this every time you add something. No, movie metadata downloaders. I use both of those. I click them. I click on the metadata, the NFO files. It actually saves a file here. I'll go to this folder here and it'll kind of show you everything here. It'll create these little things to correspond with your movie or whatever you want to call it here. We'll right click on the properties. Of course, it's only 3.5 kilobytes so I mean it takes up literally no room and it's great for when you're distro hopping or starting up a new thing all your information's there it loads pretty pretty much like a snap movie image fetchers I usually click on all these I definitely am not saving artwork file into media folders because that'll just start eating up a lot of space there I don't really worry too much about open subtitles. I usually always download my own subtitles for anything that needs it. But once you get everything you want here, just click OK. Boom. Right now, if we go back to Dashboard, well, even there, it's scanning the media right now. And as you can see, I don't have too many music concerts, so they're just kind of loading up slow. As soon as it gets to, like, well, maybe as soon as it gets done, like I said, it doesn't have the too much, and I already have the metadata files already there. It should load everything up pretty quick. We'll go take a look at this. But what we should do is go into settings here. Where is it? Settings. Oh, transcoding. Um, the only thing I usually change in here is hardware acceleration. I have an NVIDIA card, so we'll use NVENC. It says all of them are experimental. I check mark all these. 
I usually don't mess with any of this. If anybody knows a little more about MB than I do, feel free to leave a comment below. Just hit save. Comes up with a little thing. If you have difficulty playing video after enabling this, you'll need to change the setting back. Pretty self-explanatory. Got it. And as you can see, the notification here shows that it loaded everything pretty much there. Let's just click over there and it's showing all the stuff right here. There will be an image here that loads later on. Um, and the cool thing about these is, well, let's see, I'll load up, uh, go back in here and load up another one here for you. Oh, wait. Click on the little cog here to get back here. We'll go to here. We'll add another folder. This will be movies, of course, again. A little Laurel and Hardy. Once again, this shouldn't take too long. I don't know why I keep clicking on that right now. I'll show you some of the things you can do in here. I believe you could do it... Well, no, that's not true. Plex didn't. Plex had more of a side list on your on the left hand side where, once again, of course, you know, MB has that. It actually has both the side list and the pictures or icons for your films. Um, type in UN. Go to United States. Like I said, it would be nice if this was automatically there from what you entered before once again you go down there and kind of click everything let me double check yet that I got show advanced settings NFO I already know they're there and everything all right that everything's that I want there go up to dashboard here like I said what when you have all the metadata files already in your folders and your setting up your MB server again or your Plex media server. I don't know how Plex would fare with those NFO files already there, but I probably won't be going to back to Plex anytime soon. One of the reasons I also did switch is because of that hardware accelerator. The picture does look a little nicer on MB than it did on Plex. I don't have a lifetime pass or anything with MB. Didn't have one with Plex. I did try their service out on Plex a couple of years ago. And back then I didn't see any point to it. No, you may want to, but I didn't feel that you should have to pay to have hardware acceleration. MB gives it to you. Well, I'll go with MB. And hopefully they'll keep up that. Uh, let's go over here to dashboard. As you can see, it's loading in all the information, Laurel and Hardy. And you can change, if you edit image here, I actually have an image. Let me see here. Covers. I do save some stuff. I think I had it in here. Where did I? Oh, I put it under flags because I did do a lot of them flags to represent the countries of movies that I have and like I said I do have a Laurel and Hardy here upload that click back and eh, sometimes it doesn't do it so you go to the dashboard and it should load it up here if you go under library that's what will show up under Laurel and Hardy now it'll be that makes it a little easier for you whether you're on your computer or on Roku to find everything but right now, that's everything I can think of right off the bat. I'll do be, be doing a little more of these. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to leave a comment. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Remember, I'm Madhouse Jack. This is the Three Ring Circus. Have some fun, guys.